What is going on, folks? We are here. That is Las Vegas in the background. Hey, what's up? Hi. Welcome back to another video on The Electrics. Hopefully, you guys are doing awesome. We actually just spent, what, like five hours, babe, in the car? About five hours. Uh, we are here doing, um, well, here's the thing, guys. Okay, so Christy, my love, said a few months ago that she wanted to get content and she wanted to do photo shoots. And you know what, I'm like, okay, cool, I can get down with that. I would love to, to observe some photo shoots. And um, the photographer that we planned on doing photo shoots with, or she planned on doing photo shoots with. He was with, a good friend of mine, but he- Had some um, stuff come up. So he had to reschedule, so we already booked everything, so we said we'll come to Vegas anyway. That's exactly right. So we're here in Vegas, and we decided to turn it into a workcation. So, yeah, it's gonna be a great time. I plan on doing two challenges here. One is gonna be at the Heart Attack Grill, and I don't know where the other one's gonna be. I might just do like a buffet thing. But we're also gonna do videos for the electrics for you guys, for our subscribers. So, um, we're gonna have a good time. Yes, we will. We're gonna show you all of our adventures. Yes. 12 seconds later. <laughs> Eric. First night out. Oh, you guys get to see the camera. This is the camera that always oh, yeah. doesn't focus. That's funny. I'm gonna get my drink oh, right now. Uh. So that is our uh, hotel. There's a lot of cool stuff down there. So as we said, the first order of business, Eric's gotta get a margarita. That's, I don't even know what they are, but apparently the Luxor only makes these tower drinks and I got them back in 2017, like, so like, it's gonna be good. Like, Hopefully we can walk on the strip of them. Aw, oh, yeah. Peasants. Babe. Hey. There we go. Okay, now I feel like I'm in place. Hard Rock, we're going there. We're both going to Hard Rock Cafe right now. We've both never been here before, time. and we're definitely getting a five for in this video. Definitely. Yeah. All right, so we got the cauliflower wings, and we got the pitas, and once again, we're pr pretty sure and that we got something really drink. Right Thank you very here. much. Thank you. Oh, so right here. Yeah, solid. We also got a drink. It's gonna be a good, good time. Yeah, and we're definitely gonna have to do a time lapse of the game because I really don't want to get black for copyright. <laughs> We're definitely getting <laughs> We got some cauliflower bites, everybody. They're amazing. I don't actually never had them before. It was pretty good. Did I ever tell you you're a place for? I'm gonna eat like Nick avocado. Oh, that was so good. How he eats, he eats like this. <laughs> This is one of many food ventures for us in Las Vegas. Babe? Cheers. We think we were at a vegan restaurant. They nailed that. I just saw the dude's ass. I just saw the dude's ass. We may have just gotten it on camera too. <laughs> Guys, if you ever see an ass in public, you kind of just gotta go with the flow. Like, I've seen so many butt cheeks in my life, including hers. Let me just tell you, they're awesome. Hers are awesome. <laughs> Not all the butt cheeks I've seen. So do I. <laughs> you do have a nice butt. He does have a very nice butt. I have a very wide butt. Yeah, you very, do. like, beefy butt. It's yeah, like it's beef. very muscular. Isn't it? Muscular beauty. I can't wait for our Vegetas. I'm serious, so I just. I Do you really have to drink wind cheese? Yeah. A few moments later. Fajitas. You are not gonna get full. I know I won't. She knows me all too well. Pico's good, dude. Pico me. Good. 
just so you guys know, when I'm a little intoxicated, it's game over because I will eat literally anything that's out of my way. Even if it's lettuce. Even if it's lettuce. Alright guys, we're gonna finish our meal here. We'll see you in the next part of the video. Alright everybody, so we're actually staying at the Luxor. But we're at the Mandalay Bay right now. And back in 2014, I did a slider challenge. It was one of my first challenges I've ever done. 24 sliders in 24 minutes. Now I don't think they do the challenge anymore, but it's at a place called Citizens Bar and Grill or Kitchen or something like that. Citizens is still open. But we're gonna go, we're actually checking it out right now to see if it's, my picture's still on the wall. She got really cool. Ooh, they have quest bars. Ooh, quest bars. 12 seconds later. So unfortunately, it's not there anymore. Oh well, I still have the picture on my phone. That's all that really matters. We're trying to figure out what we should do. If we should do a mukbang in the hotel room. Ooh, mukbang in the hotel room. Or if we should go out and get food. We're going to Gordon Ramsay's. Look, a bum. A what? A bum in the wall. It's a bunny. Oh, oh, it's a butt. That's cute. You're so it's funny. A you are so funny. So oh, we're trying to figure out whether or not because we're going to Gordon Ramsay's restaurant tomorrow. We have reservations. Yes. But um, yeah, we might just kind of explore for a little bit. Yeah. People are super weird here. All right, guys. So we're at the Hershey store. They have oh my gosh, babe. Five pound bar. That's cute. It's a giant Jolly Rancher. Look at that. Five That's super cool. Pounds. Two pounds. I would actually, I, I want to get this. Is it like? Individually wrapped bars. Oh, that's, that's Watch for it, guys. Oh, that one might be real, though. That one looks hollow. Ooh. Extra long. We have hey, they're low fat. extra long Twizzlers. So <laughs> this, is, this is my heaven right now. Eric's on heaven. <laughs> All Reese's, look at that. We've completely walked basically the entire strip and we're trying to find a place to get drinks. And food because we're hungry. We're actually gonna be back here tomorrow because we're going to Gordon Ramsay's restaurant, so we'll find a good place. We're trying not to she loves anybody. walking today, she really does. All right, now we're gonna find a good place to eat, even though I've said that 5,000 times already. All right, so we ordered two Red Russian mules without the strawberry syrup because health. And uh, we're gonna figure out what we're gonna get here. So we got potato skins and some Moscow mules and some salads. Yum. Potato skins. We've heard this song already today. Unfortunately. And she's totally not gonna eat the cheese and the bacon. Just so you know. Typically, it's mostly vegetable and then it's balsamic vinegar. What is that? I think they didn't have salt. No. Tomato, yeah, it's tomato balsamic. That's really good. Basically, guys, what you can do is save your carbs for delicious carbs and get salads instead. And you save calories, so you can save room for alcohol. A little bit of fun.
I've ever had. Them. I would much rather eat potato than bread. Like that's just, just my body. People are always like, why does she not get a bread on her burger? Get your carbs from other places. I'd rather have bread. And there's a lot more nutrients in bread. Like, it's just like funny, bread is not even tempting to me. Because it just, it doesn't make me feel it makes me feel good. Unless it's Ezekiel bread, that's very nice. I love Ezekiel bread. Crispy, delicious. Alright guys, so we're gonna finish our meal and we'll see you in the next part of the video. 328 AM. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to hold our on, hold on. Well before oh. I even say welcome. Before we even say welcome, we have to let you guys know that this video is not for anybody under the ages of 18. Would you say 18 or 21? Um I would probably say 21 because we are in Vegas and you should not drink until you are 21. Sure. Okay, so this is not for anybody under the ages of whatever, 18, 21, around there. So if you guys are under those ages, please leave now. Hey, we know. where are my veggies? Babe, let me just finish but babe, the intro to the video. I put them on the bed. You said throw all the snacks on the bed. I actually don't know. I threw that. myself on the bed because I'm a snack. You're snacks. <laughs> like, I'm definitely not a snack. Can you please, where did my snappies go? Where my green beans? Oh, there you are. Mukbangs for us guys, I think we've been taking them a little bit too seriously. Yeah, I think we have been too. Nick taught us a lot. Nick did t teach us a lot. Mukbangs should be natural, even though we're both pretty intoxicated right now. They should be very natural. I'm not as intoxicated as he is. Well, the only thing not natural about me is this. <laughs> that's well, the only thing that's not natural. Babe, you said that a lot. Do you want to talk about that a little bit more? I'm just saying, like, I'm not, like, silicone. Babe, it's just fake. Oh, that wasn't clear. It's not, it's not. Well, most people don't know. Tell them more about it. Um, I got them done back in 2000. It's a fruit, it's fruit punch. Yeah, okay. Oh, shit, spray's leaking. Oh, you ain't sleeping over here tonight. <gasps> Are you kidding me? <laughs> sorry, babe. It looks like somebody peed the bed. I'm sorry, I didn't put the cap on. He doesn't know how to put the shh, lid on things, shh, 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 ever. Don't try to shush me. I have almost dropped. Babe, just just have some. The tub of protein in it's, our house, it's all over good. the floor. It's gonna give you strong muscles. Please don't. Do you you do drink it. it. Okay, I'll I'm gonna you sneeze. Yeah. Yummy. Very good. Maybe not. It's actually really good. It tastes like fruit punch. Let's try some a little bit. Jeez. Let's try some. Do a little, a little swig. It tastes like a melted jello shot. Exactly, it's delicious, cool. No, no, no. Yeah, so this is basically gonna be very, uh, we actually, when we first got together and we started doing all of our videos back on, when this channel first started, we started doing these, uh, we started, we actually did a few drunk mukbangs and we never posted them. You um, never posted them? No, we didn't. We actually went out and we basically like, the way it was. I thought we posted all of them. No, there's some that you actually don't remember. Like you were, what? You I don't think very you remember. Intoxicated, my love. I don't think you remember. Oh, I remember. I don't think you do. I got hot Cheetos and I don't like hot things. Why did you get flame in there? They're actually not that hot. The ASMR people are probably like. Mm. Mm. So good. Crunch some more, please. Eric, do you want me to spank you again? Your spankings are really hard. I do not spank him. He got spanked today, though. Okay, that's just, that's probably the first topic of discussion. Is what are some things that um they don't know about you? Huh? What are some things that they don't know that like I just gave off the the um, illusion, well, not illusion, but it's a very it's it's a true thing. You're you're a very hard spanker. I'm not as tough as I look. Is that what you're trying to get at? I'm really not. We've already talked about that though. I'm the person that you'd want on the sideline to like back you up in a fight, but in the actual fight, you better hope it doesn't go down because 
You can be shit out of luck. I'll be in the corner like this, please don't hurt Babe. me. What? Oh yeah, this is a, everyone's over 18 or 21. Watch on this. I would say um, most people don't know about me that um, I'm very, um, I actually don't know. What would you say? What would you say for me? I'm too drunk to remember right now. Of what people don't know about you? Yeah, what would you say? Because you've been around me for like 24 seven. The fact that he doesn't know how to put the lids back on food items. Babe, that's... That's one thing most people don't know every single freaking day because my hands aren't very big. And so like grabbing a tub of protein, I have to use two hands. Eventually. So babe, if I want to use one, no I'm going to grab the lid. Two hours later. Bats. And every time I freaking pick it up, no I almost one drop the entire thing. about that. Meanwhile. You're a special kind of cool. You know, you're like one of those people that goes, huh, just kidding. No offense, but you actually like you're actually just you're actually being rude. Just be rude. You you people down in the comments. <laughs> Eric, your hair looks like crap. No offense. You look ugly. No offense. No offense. No offense. Your your grandma's disgusting. She deserves to die. No offense. <gasps> Babe. People say that all the time. It's like, bro, really? I think you're being a little bit dramatic. Babe, I've read I've read a lot of comments today. Well, I mean, like, taking it as far as your grandma, you're being a little dramatic. My grandma's, she's, she's deceased. Rest in peace, grandma. My grandma, she actually would not let me celebrate Halloween. I know, you told me that. That's, like, crazy to me. It is, cool. it is crazy. You, so you didn't go trick-or-treating? Nope. Ever? I did. After she was deceased. That's probably terrible for me to say. How old were you when she passed away? Um, I think I was like 10. So the first time you went trick or treating was when you were 10? Yeah. Is that bad? How does your grandma have so much say? I don't know. It's kind of just one of those things where you just go with what the church says. Oh. Halloween is the devil. I know if I see people out there that believe that it is. It's guys. We're always offending See, somebody. You just said no offense. <laughs> but but here's the thing: when you have a YouTube like channel, and it's weird because like every single time you say something, you have to always constantly be mm -hmm. be wondering if you're offending somebody. And it's oh, like true. when we did our our thing, our shimlamalamalamalamas, shimlamalamalamas. I don't even know what I wanted to say. Um, when we did our shenanigans on April Fools, we always offend somebody. We always. And it doesn't even matter what video it is. There's always somebody offended. Well, we were listening to Kevin Hart podcast on the way over here on Joe Rogan. Yo, shout out to Joe Rogan. If you ever have me on your podcast, Joe, I'd really, really love Babe, it. Babe, I highly doubt he's watching this video right Babe, now. Babe, you never know. Okay. I'm not cool enough. <laughs> a poor, <laughs> apparently, I'm not important enough to know or to want my address to be blocked from people knowing it. So, you know, Joe Rogan is not ever going to watch this. But anyways, uh, we're watching, we're listening to a, pod, a Kevin, Kevin Hart podcast and, uh, I'm Joe Rogan. He gave some really good advice. I honestly don't remember the, <laughs> all the advice right now, but. Basically, he was like, somebody's always gonna have an opinion, and he's like, there's no point in putting your energy into like getting upset about it. Because it's just like, like he said that one lady rolled down her window. She rolled down her window as she was driving <laughs> by. Hilarious. And she was like, when are you gonna make a good movie? And he was just like, well, have you seen this latest one that I came out with? And she goes, no, I haven't seen that yet. And he goes, well, I think it's a pretty good movie. And she goes, oh, okay, and drives off. And he was just like... It's almost he like... He could have been really mad that she had said, when are you going to make another good movie? Basically, she was telling him, like, all of his recent movies sucked. And he was just like, there's no point in being energetic where he's just like, well... Or, like, him as a comedian where people are like, "You're not. when are you going to be funny again? And he's like, well, I guess I'll try harder. Like, he doesn't, he, there's no point in putting energy into it because you will never change other people's opinion about yourself, ever. That's true. I guess, uh, for me, it's always, as a YouTuber, always trying to make people, um, like, my goal as a YouTuber is to get that rise out of people, to get people to, like, comment or, like, or engage. And, yeah. um... Um, like the fact that they do that is great, but it's the people that actually mean when they say like negative things Like when they're actually like when are you gonna make like a great video again? Because all of your videos suck. It's like that would really hurt me 
you know? And I get people to say that on, on like a con like an hourly basis to me. And so I'm just like, Kevin Hart was really a huge inspiration for me. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, definitely. And I mean, like, I understand that for me, like, it's completely different than YouTube, but I understand, like, you know, if somebody inquires about coaching and that type of stuff, like, I'm not everybody's flavor, and at first it was hard to not take offense to it, but I just learned that, you know, like, you can't change or control, like, what people think of you, yeah. and that's just how it goes, and there's no point in stressing about it. You just have to keep showing up and being you. For me, even within the needing, the eating niche, it's like you're literally putting a fork into a bite of food, putting that fork into your mouth, and that is... I guess I'm not gonna say that's like the entire, the entirety of the eating meme, like what it's like. It pretty much is, but it's like even like even in that niche, you can still have people that are still unsatisfied and still uh, picky and choosy about what you do. What's it doing, babe? Ooh, just get it. Ooh, that smells like nut pins. Twelve seconds later. I read our comments on our last video today. The comment section is literally just all it is other people's opinions. If like, I could relabel the comment section of every single video to other people's opinions, I would. <laughs> Do you have it to play for me so I can select it? You select it there. Like, bro, why aren't you eating chili cheese fries smothered in gravy and ranch and mayo? I just want you to eat all the calories, bro. Why aren't you doing a food challenge right now? I don't care for this crap. I don't want to watch it. Go home. Maybe okay. it's a plastic. You're getting a little aggressive. Sorry, I just get a little. It's what I, I see it on a daily basis. Oh my gosh, my 10 lines are terrible right now. They're so funny. Your 10 lines kill me. All right, let's go to our last video. Beautiful wife though. She's not my wife yet. Why is there a frowny face? Yeah, I know, why is there <laughs> Bro, why don't you read some? Oh, oh, we'll go right here. She kind of annoys me. Literally asking what's this sauce? What's that? What kind of cheese? Like, shut up. <laughs> and she looks at her food constantly. It's annoying and gross. Gross. Makeup for breakfast. I'm, I'm gonna, do you know what? I'm gonna You're take, gross. Do you know what, babe? I'm gonna take the route of Kevin Hart and I'm gonna say, I hope that I annoy you less in future videos. I hope I annoy you less. Even though, like, in my, in my mind, I'm flipping you off. What's with the lame CIA background music, Eric? Y'all are trying to figure out the secret when he's in every fast food item. So, honestly, guys, it's really hard to find royalty-free music to use for these. I, should we even put music in these? I don't even know anymore. Um, Kayla Bauer says, first time watching one of their videos, and they are incredibly irritating. LOL. Thank you, Kayla. We hope we're better for you next time. Like in my mind, I flip a lot of people off. It's so like I know, I know this person. This person has zero idea what it takes to to actually film a YouTube video. Like literally, they just sit zero on their computer clue. and they're like, -da 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 -da. "I'm gonna click mukbang and I'm gonna watch a mukbang." Oh, those people are so irritating. Good luck you trying that yourself. I wonder if they feel that way about us because they're used to watching other mukbangers like stuff their face grotesquely. Like that is not who we are. We do this channel bringing both of our commonalities of foodies, but we're still true to who we are. Right. So, this I'm sorry we're not your flavor. Guys, I saved some ones for you guys, okay? I saved some ones. Read that one. Jeez, that's like a freaking novel. I saved it. <clears throat> it's so obvious that you guys are incompatible. Incompatible. All of the metaphors, the low blows at each other. How am I the only one seeing it? Eric is mad that he wants to look lean, so she's only to do taste tests. Eric is also mad that they get very little views on this channel due to all the restrictions that Christy is putting on it. You guys are incompatible together. Eric makes subtle comments about Christy being too muscular and looking like Subtle that. comments. Subtle comments. Baby, you're too muscular. Those aren't really too big. Um, Christy says that he's insecure with his manhood. I cringe so hard throughout this video. I hope you guys read comments in the next video. Read mine and let everyone know what's really going on. What's really going this on? This is the harsh reality, says Kitty Kit Kit Zero Zero.
Mic drop. She wins. It's her opinion. Or we're breaking opinion. up. I guess so. It's over. Because we're just... He irritates me too much about thinking that I look like a man. It was actually for really interesting, guys, because I'm going to tell a little story right now. Go for it. I got so offended. It was probably about two months ago. Okay. I still have screenshots, so I'll post them. I'll post them on the video. Someone actually commented. They go, Christy looks like a man. Why is she so disgusting? Or something like that. It you was must like a have random. not shared that with me. Oh, no, I did. You'll remember this as I told oh. it. Um, hey, I just have one for me. No, you can have it. It's okay. I'll take another one. No, it's fine. Uh, she goes, this this person goes, she is such a man, why is she on your video, like, or something like that, gross, disgusting, I only care about you, Eric. And so, I looked at this person's username, I was really curious, I was like, okay, so, this person must be somebody that's, uh, very, like, just not, every single time that someone makes it, like, a negative opinion, or, like, makes a negative comment about you or me, even, even on my main channel, I go, this probably, this person probably isn't doing too well in life. Yeah, And probably. they're just like, they want to like, really just take it out on somebody else. So I'm like, okay. So I actually, I did the, I never do this. I never ever do this. I took the person's username. I put it into Facebook. I'm like, I, I'm curious to see what this person looks like. So the person telling me that Christy was fat and gross and out of shape and that needs, she, 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 this person said that she needs to do more activity because she was fat. That's what the comment was, the first comment. So I was just like, I want to see what this person looks like for her to make that assumption. Because my girlfriend is one of the most fit girls I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm like, I really want to see what this person looks like. So I go into Facebook button. and I per search this person's name. And sure enough, the person's name is its the only person on Facebook. And so I, I click on this person's profile picture. And sure enough, this person is noticeably, noticeably overweight. And I have nothing against noticeably overweight people. But I do have something against people that are noticeably overweight that make comments about people that aren't noticeably overweight and tell them something that is disgusting and gross. And so I sent this person a message and I said, you oh. know what? I have a problem with that. Oh, and they told me I was stupid too. I was just a dumb girl, something let, like that. Ooh. Let me, but I sent this person a message and I say, I said, person, I think her name was Terry. Shout out to you, Terry. <laughs> To Terry. I'm pretty sure you blocked him from this channel, so they won't um, be watching this. Yeah, because they kept spamming our, our channel. But I was like, yeah. Terry, that was not a very wise decision, and you're kind of not really in the position to be ever saying things like that to somebody just because it because it's the internet. And this person was apparently a female, and I actually got a comment like two days. No, it was, it was actually like same the day, day after, the same day, same day. from that person's husband because it was apparently the husband that was making the comments about Christy, not the actual wife. And so the person then goes on our channel and goes, I can't believe you would do that. You're disgusting. You're a POS. Blah, blah, blah. You got your taste of your own medicine, dude. <laughs> now you know how it feels. I feel like um, that's gonna make me sound like the bad guy, especially from my, like, from my history but never, ever, ever say things like that. You got what you gave, right there. Bye-bye. And here's the thing. I would, like, I would like to give you all homework, <clears throat> go get a tripod, turn on your camera, and talk and try not to be annoying or awkward or unwatchable. It's really hard. It's really, really hard. Good luck. Because I don't even think we're watchable, let's be honest. You don't like that? I don't know. I probably wouldn't watch our channel. I'd be like, dang, she's annoying. <laughs> I'm pretty annoying too. I know I'm annoying. I know I am. He'll like play back our videos and I'm like, gosh, I'm annoying. But we love you guys. Yeah. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you want more... Well, they probably don't because I'm annoying. They love you, babe. You, you are the electric. You are 50% of the electrics. I'm the other 50%. Yeah. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let us know down in the comments below. Let us know if you guys want to see another... Whatever this was. I don't even know. Another travel hotel room mukbang. It was kind of fun not doing this it's in actually, our living room. It is. It's a lot more fun. And it's, it's actually cool know? because we um, we actually don't find it awkward to say mukbang anymore. Yeah, and we... Yeah. Yeah, mukbang. 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 <laughs>
All right, guys. The electrics are 